It was four hours that shaved about four years off my life right there, I think. It's just pressure packed, man, this time of the year. A uh, game like this, you gotta, you just got to play good the whole way through. And even if you don't play good at the beginning, got to play good at the end. And, you know, believe it or not, today's my birthday. Did you guys know that? Happy birthday. I always ask for the same thing every year because it always falls during the conference tournament and got my wish today. We got a big big win and you know you play a game like that as ugly as it is, you know when the game gets in the last couple innings, your your best players have to step up and that's what these guys did. Pudge made a great play on a block to throw a guy out of third base in the seventh or eighth inning and and Darius always comes up big for us in games like this and uh Old Zarb went out there and threw his heart on the field and gave us every ounce of energy he had. And these guys did too, man. They're grinders. And that's why we are where we are. And uh, But if we're going to win this thing, we have to play better than we did today, of course. And I have no reason to believe that we won't do that. Okay, questions? Uh, Coach, just, uh, just talk about the ebbs and flow of the game and how your team was able to, I guess, withstand those emotional uh, ups and downs. You know, in a game like that, having a 6 nothing lead is great, but uh, you'd rather have it in the, in the seventh inning than the fourth inning. With their offense, you know they're going to crawl back into the game. And, you know, the, the biggest fear is to let the tying and winning run come to the plate in the bottom of the ninth. But you kind of saw it coming, you know, the way the, the last three innings was going. But uh, with the game on the line, these guys stepped up and, and got a big win for us. Offensively, Coach, you guys have had a lot of success this year against Oklahoma State. 11-plus hits in every game you've played. What allowed you guys to continue that tonight? Uh, we have good players. We have really good players. And uh, when our team gets motivated to hit uh, an opposing pitcher, we usually hit the opposing pitcher. We've, uh, we've won the majority of our Friday night games in conference this year, the first game of the series. So we've handled uh, most of the best pitchers in the league, to be honest with you. Uh, and then uh, after that, we need to, to find a way to keep motivating ourselves to continue to hit. So uh, fortunately, in a tournament like this, you play a, a different team every game. So I believe uh, that will really help us uh, considering what we were able to do this season. Bob, can you talk about how the team was able, despite the, the miscues and the uh... – on the defensive side, how they were able to still keep coming back and, and come up a big play on offense and defense? Um, it's just baseball. You're going to make a bad play here and there, but it's just calming the game down and relaxing yourselves. That's all it was. That's what me and Jimmy did when uh, Zar balked. We just went up there and talked about it and said, hey, it's just another game. You know, just do what you do best. And next thing you know, you took a deep breath and we started pounding the strikes. And we'll... When they have the bases loaded there in the, in the bottom of the ninth, uh, What's your mindset and what are you trying to, I guess, just convey this to the, the rest of the team? I mean, for me as a catcher, I'm just trying to steal strikes from our pitchers. Just any way on, any way we can get a strike or um, an out, that's that's usually my mindset. I keep talking to the blue, see where how close he is to the zone, and other than that, I just try to play my heart on the line for him. Darius, with Zarb on the mound and the bases loaded in the ninth game on the line there, how confident are you that he's going to get the out that you guys need? I mean, you've seen Zarb in so many situations like that, coming in clutch out of the outfield, coming in pitching his heart out and just giving everything he has for us. Obviously, they had some good hitters up the plate that inning, and they some of them did their job. But I had utmost confidence in Zarb that he'd be able to finish the job for us. Coach, with the uh, platoon pitching strategy, he comes out, throws three great innings, Zarb comes on, get the outs at the end. How well did that strategy work for you guys against him? <laughs> Pretty good. You know, we... Uh... Uh, we went into it saying we were going to throw five guys, and we had uh, uh, the firemen that we call them down in the pen ready to help somebody get through their innings, and we had to do that with Ennis. Ennis came in and got some really big outs and put us right back on track. So uh, we'll go into tomorrow with uh, the five guys that are supposed to throw tomorrow, and if they don't get through their innings, the firemen will be ready again. And I think the pitchers have kind of bought into this and are taking pride in it. And uh, it happens to be working. You know, we're we're pitching pretty well, uh, doing it that way. If we would have played, if we'd have played better defense tonight, uh, it would have been a lot smoother. But from the pitching side, uh, it seems like the strategy's uh, working out okay. Confident that even with a different bunch of guys going tomorrow night, you guys can get a similar result out of those pitchers. 
Yeah, you know, we're throwing uh, Kearns and Stroud or dividing the first six innings, and those guys are weekend starters for us. So feel good about those guys, and, and the other guys that are going to follow them have, have thrown well as of late. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm tremendously confident in those guys. And, you know, you can easily look at it and say, BJ was throwing really good. Why would you take him out? But uh, we committed to a plan and said we were going to stick with it, and uh, we stuck with it. Darius, can you talk about the, the two big innings offensively and what y'all were able to do to be able to get to that Oklahoma uh, pitch and stuff? Oklahoma pitch and stuff. Uh, just we started off with uh, guys getting on base like Brent Aiden, Zarpniski, and B. White that did their jobs of getting on base and then stealing bases, getting bumps down, and then just taking advantage of the situation, sitting on pitches, and then getting what you're looking for, just getting the job done at the end of the day. Worked out for us. Is that it? Okay. Good job, guys, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Always a pleasure.